Hi, my name is Larry Bird. I am the Solutions Engineer Manager for Exo Service Assurance. I'm here today to talk about a POC that we're doing in conjunction with our integration partner, Amartis, around LSO and NFV-based architecture to provide dynamic bandwidth scaling along with service activation and performance monitoring. So the, the, the components of this are the XFOWORKS service assurance system that includes a, a management system with NFV dynamic or NFV probes that are that we call verifiers. Another piece is the cloudified um, Tosca-based uh, or orchestration system, the MyNet MiniNet network of OpenStack uh, virtual switches, along with that OpenStack to house and, and hold the NFV uh, vir virtual verifiers and Open Daylight uh, controller for uh, SDN controller. Now this is the picture of the architecture that we're going to be using today. At the top of the level is the Cloudify management system or orchestrator. Using a APIs to go down through the Presto API to open daylight for the SDN controller to manage the OVS switches, as well as the REST API going down through the Expo work system to manage and control the Expo verifiers or probes that are deployed in the system that are sitting on the OpenStack controller. So now we're going to go right into the demo. Now for the demo, the first thing that we want to show is that we have two hosts that aren't connected with an Ethernet circuit. The idea here is we're going to automatically provision a, a MEF 2.0 based E-line uh, Ethernet circuit between two hosts, and then once that service is provisioned, we're going to start testing it for service activation, and then for service assurance ongoing monitoring, and then we're going to overload that circuit to see what happens when it overloads and starts failing, and the Excel work system will indicate a failure back through the closed loop architecture back up to the orchestration system, which will then come in and adjust the bandwidth on the circuit to allow more bandwidth through, and then we'll see the services start to pass again on the works monitoring system. So the first thing we're going to show is that currently there's no connectivity between the two endpoints. And we're going to do that by just generating a ping in each direction between the two endpoints to show that there is no connectivity currently. Okay, so no destination, destination is reachable. So the next step is we're going to go into the Cloudify GUI and we're going to, first of all, we're going to, this is a template-based infrastructure where we're going to be using a template that defines uh, the parameters to be used to both build the Ethernet circuit as well as define the parameters to use for service activation and for service assurance and the ongoing performance monitoring. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create the deployment which will reserve the resources in the, in the orchestration system. What we're going to be entering here is all the variables that are defined that are necessary to build the circuit, to build the, the, the performance monitoring, to build the, the service activation test. So he's entering all the information for EIR, CIR, the endpoint definitions, the VLAN to be configured, and then we're going to deploy it. And what's happening now is it's going off and actually reserving those resources in the orchestration system. So now that that's done, we will actually go through and deploy it and execute the install. So now what we've done is, we've, is we have actually deployed it and the Cloudify system has gone through the Presto API uh, using uh, going into Open Daylight and Open Daylight has provisioned the Ethernet circuit, the Carry Ethernet 2.0 based circuit between the two endpoints. And now we can see that we have connectivity between the two endpoints. So now the Ethernet circuit is provisioned, the two endpoints are talking to each other. Now we're going to go and look and see what happens with service activation. So automatically the Cloudify uh, orchestrator went to works and told it to do a turn-up test. That's in a YDOT 1564 uh, uh, turn-up test that we're going to go in and look at and see what the service activation looked like. Now what we're doing is we're actually running a standards-based MEF4048 compliant YDOT 1564 Ethernet uh, turn-up test. Uh, it's going probe to probe between the two verifiers, testing four megabits of throughput, and also providing information on latency or delay, delay variation and loss as well during the test. Once the test is complete, which we're almost done here, and by the way, we're only doing the service configuration of the service performance test in this particular instance. We also have the ability to do a burst test as well. We're just not doing it for this particular application. As we see now, the test is completed. You can actually get a birth certificate. Uh, we won't show that for this particular demo, but you can, there's a birth certificate available that we could, could be stored for future reference. Now what's happening is the Excel work system, now that the, the, the activation test has passed, is now going to provision the, the on-demand continuous monitoring. And we're going to look at the results of that in just a moment. 
is right now it's going through the REST API from Cloudify down to the work system and it's provisioning a, a continuous service in the work system which is going to provision the verifiers, the virtual verifiers, to start running a Y.1731 test between them. And so now we have a, a service configured and we're going to go into the work system now. And we'll drill into the work system to look at the actual results from the Y.1731 test. Now this is the standards compliant Y.1731 test. It's, uh, it provides results for delay, delay variation, loss, both in both directions as well as round trip. Uh, it also has the ability to provide Y.1563 uh, availability metrics. And in newer versions of our, of our test, we can also do accurate one-way delay without time synchronization between the endpoints. Now, in this case, we're testing between two verifiers as, as our endpoints. We also have the ability to test from the core to an endpoint at the far edge that is a Y.1731 compliant device. It doesn't have to be one of our probes. It can be any endpoint that is compliant with that standard. So now what we're waiting for is for the provisioning of the, of the ExoWorks system for the service, which will come up here in just a moment, and we'll start seeing test results here indicating if, if, if it's passing or, or failing. So now we have test results, and first thing we indicate we see is that it's passing. It's a test is successful. Along with the test being successful, you also get a bunch of other test results providing indications of the performance of this of the service. Any of these test results can be KPIs that can now be used to go back and feed back into the Cloudify orchestrator uh, to to provide alerts when there's degradation of performance. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go into the system into the switches and we're going to start running on the, between the two endpoints we're going to start running use um, iperf to run more bandwidth than is available currently this service ethernet service is, is set up for eight megabits of throughput with a four megabit cir and a four megabit eir so what we're going to start doing is we're going to use iperf to try to push 10 megabits a second across that circuit so what you're going to see here is that it's trying to send 10 megabits but because of the rate limiting across the network is limited at eight megabits, all we're getting is eight meg bandwidth coming out the other side, okay? So what we're gonna start seeing in a moment, if we go back to the works platform now, we'll start seeing shortly that these test results are gonna start failing. We're gonna have an unsuccessful test. Now again, this is 24 seven performance monitoring. These tests are running in the background continuously. The value here is that you always know what's going on with your Ethernet service or whatever the service is that you're delivering by doing continuous monitoring 24-7. This runs in the background, generates the test results that you see here. Those test results are written into the database. They are available for extraction to be used outside. So you can use, uh, take them out and build reports of your own. Or in this case, they're being used to feed back through uh, the Cloudify orchestrator again to make decisions based on alerts or alarms or, or events that occur. And when it starts failing, as it is now, the Cloudify system receives that alert from the ExfoWorks system, and now it's gonna go out and reprovision the, the bandwidth with dynamically increase the bandwidth on the ethernet circuit from eight meg to 10 meg. And what we see is that, that that operation has already happened. That was done automatically. And now we can go back over to the, to the output of the iPerf and see, well, the buffers are clearing on the switches, but we're getting and you see it coming through over here, and in a moment you'll see it drop down to 10 megabits, and we'll see 10 megabits a second on both sides. The circuit has been increased from 8 gig, 8 meg to 10 meg, and once that this, everything settles down, the ExfoWorks test will then, as, which are still running in the background, by the way, they're still running, haven't stopped, they're going to continue to run, they're running continuously sending 10 frames a second, but reporting test results every 30 seconds. So now we see we're still, there it goes. Now it's limiting back down uh, to 10 meg. The buffers are cleared. Everything's just settled down with 10 megs a second. Now we should be able to go back to the work system and see that after everything updates and the tests continue to run, we'll see an update here that the test will again show passing. And there we go. Now the test is passing again. So that's what, we're, what we want to show here for the proof of concept today. A closed loop system using LSO based uh, architecture with NFE uh, probes uh, with a closed loop system allowing for reconfiguration of the network based on events that occurred as indicated by active testing and performance monitoring.